Hi there everyone! Last time we had a look at the method for cost-effective bleach, uh, ES 5.1. It's really cool practical with a slightly tricky calculation afterwards. It's a normal titration calculation plus a little bit extra. So what we're going to do is have a look through that calculation. Okay, so the first bit that we have to do is calculate our average titers. So I gave you these results and it should have been very easy to calculate the average titers. Now the rough ones here we are going to ignore, we're going to treat them like anomalies because they're just rough ones, we weren't trying, well when we made these results anyway, uh, the class that got those results we weren't trying to get the right result there, we were just going to try to get it around the rough right sort of area so you could then slow down and go drop by drop in the end titration. Now obviously these results look quite nice, uh, most of the anomalies were already taken out anyway. We waited until we got three concordant results, i.e. they agreed to 0 0.1 of a decimal place uh, and therefore they're quite nice to work out. So. Add each of them together and divide by three. What you should have got there was 27.86. Uh, obviously, that'd be recurring. For the parazone there, it was 30.43 recurring. Um, and there for the Wilco own, so that plus that plus that divided by three. Oh. That's naughty, isn't it? Look, they don't all agree. Ooh, that's cheeky. Uh, so actually, in theory, what we should do is one of those should be cancelled out as an anomaly uh, or an outlier, but we it's hard to tell which one it is without doing any repeats. So that's very naughty there. That one maybe should have been seven or eight, uh, but it wasn't. Ooh, cheeky. Never mind. Uh, we'll carry on as if they were concordant anyway. Uh, so that would get you uh, 28.7. Those are your average titers for each of the different brands of bleach. Since we're talking about the brand of bleach, um, the ones that we went for that we used uh, was the Domestos, the Parazone and Wilco's own version of their bleach as well. Um, each one you can see already uh, here, we've actually calculated for you the pence per litre. So we got the cost of the bottle itself divided by how many litres there were, boom, pence per litre. Okay, so those are the prices. So you can see there where we've got a more expensive middle of the range there and a least expensive. So to help you get started with the calculation, um, I did share this with you. Uh, these are the stages of the calculation, how we would attack it step by step. Now in an exam situation you wouldn't necessarily get that, um, but in the worksheet for this practical it did give you a version of doing that anyway. So if you actually have a look at the worksheet, the questions there at the bottom, that is an alternative way of calculating it out and I've just simplified that um, to make that little guide that I gave out to you lot. Okay then, let's focus first on the calculation for the Domestos bleach. We calculated that the average titer, therefore the average volume, was 27.36 centimetre cubed. Now because this is a titration calculation and we are dealing with moles and therefore moles per decimetre cubed, we need to convert that into decimetres by dividing by a thousand. To calculate our number of moles. Now this is the moles of thiosulfate that we use, so I will just put thio there just to remind myself what I'm actually dealing with. Uh, and that's going to be the concentration of the thiosulfate multiplied by the volume. Now in the method sheet itself, la 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 la, there we go, there it actually has given us our volume of the sodium thiosulfate. So our concentration was 0 0.1, 
the volume is the number that we've got above there so the 0 0.02786 it technically is recurring but whatever uh, and therefore that's 0 0.002786 uh, and that's going to be moles Okay, so we've got the number of moles of sodium thiosulfate. Let's check out what the next stage was on our kind of to-do list, our guide. It said ra ration or ratio of thio to bleach solution. Now, again, if we actually have a look at the uh, worksheet, it's already told us that the thiosulfate to bleach ratio is a two to one. So thio bleach is two to one that therefore means our moles of bleach is going to be exactly half of whatever our moles of thio would be okay type that into a calculator 0 0.001393 mole or moles of bleach okay so let's get the concentration of our bleach Concentration, number of moles of volume is our formula triangle. It's the strangest triangle I've drawn in my life. Um, you should be used to that formula triangle by now. So we're going to do our number of moles of the bleach divided by the volume of bleach that we used uh, in the titration itself. So our moles is the 0 0.001393. Uh, just taking that straight from... Just from there. Oopsie daisy. Our volume was, let's have a look back at the practicale. Why are you talking like that, miss? Because you're special, that's why. Um, here we go. Of your diluted bleach, we had 25 centimetre cubed. Therefore, that's going to be divided by 1,000. Uh, so 0 0.025, very common number that we deal with uh, in a titration calculation. So that's there for in decimeter cubed is going to be 0 0.05572 moles per decimeter cubed. Now that's the bleach that we prepared or that we would have prepared a dilution for. So that is the diluted bleach. Now, I know up here I've written conch bleach, but that stands for the concentration calculation rather than uh, that it's the concentrated bleach. OK, it's the diluted bleach that we're dealing with at this stage. Therefore, what we need to do is scale that back up as if it were the original bleach, the non-diluted version. For this, we need to use a dilution factor. We might not have talked about dilution factors before. I can't quite remember. Um, but let's have a look at the practical sheet and see what we diluted it by. So here we go. Step number one, dilute the bleach sample using a 25 centimetre cube pipette and a 250 ml volumetric flask. Yeah. So we put 25 centimetre cubed of the pure bleach uh, and made up to 250 centimetre cubed. So that is a dilution factor of 10. Yeah. So 25 to 250, it's by 10. So if we have a dilution factor, I'm just going to call that dilfac of 10, therefore what have we got, uh, we just need to times that original one by 10. So uh, just get rid of a zero after the decimal place. So it's actually going to be 0 0.5572 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, don't forget, we're going from a lower concentration to a higher concentration. So you'd expect the undiluted version to have a higher concentration. So because this number, uh, this number is bigger than the other one, we'd expect that. That's sensible. OK, um, we at the minute we have that in moles per decimeter cubed. The um, 
thing that we've got to work out is in litres. Um, so we're going to work out how much we're being charged for each mole, basically. So that's pence per litre. We want it to uh, find out the price per mole. So let's kind of shift this around a little bit. So uh, I'd like to think you should know by now that one decimeter cubed equals a litre. So 0 0.5572 moles per decimeter cubed is the same as saying 0 0.5572 moles. And you can put slash or you can just put per, I don't mind, but that's per litre. To get the last stage, calculating pence per mole. I always think it's relatively straightforward, but sometimes people don't see it necessarily the same way. So I thought I'd explain a bit more detail how we get to that in terms of the units. So here we go. Here's the two numbers that we have got. So 0 0.5572 moles per litre. If I were to rearrange that ever so slightly, what I could do is go moles per just put that line there and that means in one litre. That's what moles per litre means. There's that number of moles in one litre. So let's do the same again for the pence per litre here. Let's get rid of the per litre of the top there and let's go that's 133.33 uh, pence per one litre or whatever it may be. So what we can essentially do here is kind of rearrange this as a bit of an equation. We want this as pence per mole, so how much each mole is going to cost you. So we need to actually kind of flip around one of these equations. Let's flip around this top one. So let's just invert that there. So one litre here is 0 0.55 seven two moles so we've got one liter divided by that so then what we're going to do is recombine that with the equation below so if we do okay mixing those two together Whenever you times one of these together, you just cancel out the common factors and that leaves you pence per mole. OK, so that was what we call a derivation. That's more common in maths. We don't necessarily use, well, we use it in chemistry, um, but we don't always necessarily show it in that sort of extensive way. That's why we're doing the 133.33 divided by the number of moles, the 0 0.5572. I hope that's made sense to you. Uh, if it hasn't, don't worry about it. Let's carry on with the calculation. The price of the Domestos was 133.33 pence per litre. So what we're going to do, um, that's pence per litre, we've got moles per litre here. If we divide the one by the other, we're going to get the price per mole, aren't we? So uh, let's take that too. So the 133.33 divided by the number of moles per litre, these are both per litre, so the litre bits kind of cancel out, uh, and that is going to be 239.285714 blah 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 uh, pence per mole, which let's just call that 239.29 pence per Okay, so uh, that's how we do it for the Domestos, and it's pretty much a case of lather, rinse, repeat. Haha, <laughs> lather, because it's like bleach and stuff and it's got lathering agents. Um, anyway, it's pretty much lather, rinse, repeat for the next ones as well. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to do those calculations again for the next few, um, but it's going to be sped up and I'm not going to talk over them, okay? Um, Let's do this.